Good morning. My name is Barb Malera. I'm a member of the team at Harvesting History. Harvesting History is an heirloom horticultural products company that specializes in heirloom, non-GMO, flower, vegetable, and herb seeds, non-GMO sets like onion sets, non-GMO roots like asparagus roots and rhubarb roots, and then seed potatoes and flower bulbs, heirloom flower bulbs, both spring bulbs and fall bulbs, and heirloom garlic. We have one of the largest collections of heirloom garlic available in the U.S. today. We are going to talk a little bit about the non-pretty side of growing citrus trees. If you've listened to any of our other videos, you've heard me say that citrus trees grown in containers must be fed on a regular basis. And by regular basis, I mean at least once a month throughout the year, or in the case what I do in the winter time is I feed every time I water. The two products that we recommend, and I'll explain why we recommend these two products, is this Espoma product called Citrus Tone, and it is for organic gardening. And this product, which frankly I love, this is Jack's Citrus Feed, but it is not an organic fertilizer as Citrus Tone is. Now let me explain what I do. When I put the plants out in the spring, when the nighttime temperatures are routinely in the mid-50s, I then put about a quarter of a cup of Citrus Tone on the soil surface in each pot, about a quarter of a cup. If I've got 18 inch diameter pots, I will go to a half a cup, but for my 10 to 12 inch container plants, I use a quarter of a cup. The reason I use this, and, and I fertilize about every three weeks throughout the summer. The reason I use this only outside is because this stinks. I used to use it in the house during the winter time and it stinks pretty badly. So I don't use this in the house during the winter time. Once I bring the plants inside, I use the citrus feed from Jack's because it doesn't stink. It is a water soluble fertilizer. And let me just show you what it looks like. It's a blue granular fertilizer. And I put a half a scoop in a gallon of water to feed my citrus plants every time I water. They seem to like it a lot. The prevailing theory on feeding citrus is to give them a period of rest during the winter. But since I'm growing these plants in a very inhospitable, often sunless New England winter, I give them a little dessert. <coughs> Excuse me, each year, each week or so so that they know that um, I still love them and in the spring I'm going to put them outside and they're going to get better treatment. So this stinks but it's very good and recommend it for organic gardening. This doesn't stink. I use it indoors in the winter time. Now let's talk about the worst aspect of citrus trees, growing citrus trees, and that is that they are bug magnets. You've heard me say this if you've looked at any of our other videos. And they can't help this. The bugs that routinely attack them, number one is spider mites, and then scale or mealy bug, and oftentimes white fly. Now, 
don't let this turn you off. They are more than worth it if you just understand how to manage the problem of bugs and you take care of it before it is a problem. What I do when I bring the plants indoors in the fall, I use this. It's a bonide product and it's citrus fruit and nut or orchard spray and it's sold as a concentrate so you have to mix it with water. I would only caution you with this. Make sure you exactly follow the directions, which I rarely do. And I've had a couple of trees die on me because the orchard spray was way, way too strong for the plants. So do exactly what this tells you to do and do this the day that you're going to bring the plants into your home. Now, this is not an organic spray. So if you are very committed to doing organic gardening, you have very few choices and they're nowhere near as effective as the orchard spray. But here is one that we've used from time to time and it's insecticidal soap. The recommendation is if you are going to use an organic method for treating pests and insects and fungus and stuff to use insecticidal soaps. Safer soap is another excellent choice. But the way these work is there's paraffin in the concentrate. And what that and what happens is the paraffin hardens over the insects and suffocates them. The orchard spray kills not just the insects on the plant, but the eggs that are in the soil. If you are going to use this, you have to be prepared to put it on every 10 to 14 days because what you need to do is break the egg cycle in the soil. And the only way you're going to do that is to kill the adults before they start fooling around. So insecticidal soap, if you're going purely organic, or orchard spray, if you want to use something that is not unhealthy, but it is not, rec it is not approved for organic gardening. So I hope you've learned something about what you want to do when it comes to fertilizing and then protecting your, your plants against in insects and pests and molds and fungus. We have these two products on our website and that is www.harvesting-history.com. We do not carry these insecticides. You can find them at a very good garden center. So I hope this doesn't terrify you and cause you to walk away from having a, a citrus tree. They're well worth it, as I've said before in this video, and they will bring you so much pleasure, bug defense or not. But you must remember to feed these plants. Please feed them. They will more than reward you for this simple gesture. I hope you'll get yourself involved in citrus gardening.